So you want to buy a PC, but you don't know where to buy? Well, this video is for you. Welcome to another episode of NOC Tech. To the answer to where is the best place to buy a PC is... Uh, it depends. Because for the longest time, I thought there was only two ways to buy a PC. One is you go to Simlim Square, you buy the parts, you build it yourself. Or you know, you go online, you go to a department store and you just buy it pre-built. And both has its pros and cons. The pros for the DIY is that you can pick any parts you want, any parts you need. You get them in a low price. And the experience of building your own PC is just so satisfying. On the downside, the cons is it's time consuming, especially if you're not a seasoned PC builder. And the support. If anything goes faulty, you will have to fix it. You will have to find out what is wrong with it. And when you find what's wrong, you have to go down to your respectable distributor, their warranty. And trust me, I've done it before. It's a lot of time. For pre-built, the pros is that it's hassle-free. You usually get two to three years warranty, even on-site service. Cons is that customization is very limited, actually non-existent. Basically, what you see is what you get. And the cost for pre-built is usually a lot higher. So what if you know nuts about PC, but you want to customize it? And you also want the support you expect from like PC companies. And also don't want to spend your whole life savings. How? That's why there is Aftershock the third way to buy a PC. I actually only found them out like a few months ago and what they offer is customization not only for hardware but aesthetics wise with the support you expect from any PC company. In short, they cover all the problems you have with the last two ways of buying a PC. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click here for more and click I'm just joking lah, heaven lah. Next, what we're gonna do is compare prices. Or the not the price lah, price. Sus. First, I went to a department store to get the price and what parts is in it. Then I went to Simlin Square to check the price on that parts. And I did the same with Aftershock. This was more complicated than I thought. I will explain it later. So for obvious reasons, I couldn't film in a department store. But what I remember is the sales guy who actually knew about the computers but didn't know anything about the latest like Coffee Lake processor nor the latest games like how can you not know players are no battlegrounds. Then I went to look at the cheapest and the most expensive PC there. The cheapest PC there was the Acer 781 costing around $1,598 with 3 years warranty. And the most expensive was the Acer GT51 at $4,898 but this includes mouse and keyboard so we're gonna just minus off $300 for the mouse and keyboard to make things easier so it's $4,598 so with this I went to Simlim cut to Simlim we're in Simlim we're gonna check the price but there's it's a Saturday and there's a lot of people so I don't know what will happen I don't know whether they recognize me from the last video I think they still do hello brother Sorry, uh, I know busy, uh, but I just want to check price for video. Uh. And one terabyte hard drive, and then everything you can just choose from, like a, a good one. Uh. The first complication I got about the price, I didn't know what motherboard and power supply the pre-built used. So I had to do a bit of guessing for that. And what we came up was $1,350. A difference of $248 or 15.5% cheaper. Ah, not bad, not bad. And for the more expensive build, it was $3,405. A whooping $1,193 cheaper, 25% cheaper than pre-built. That is both warranty will depend on uh, the different parts. So I can't really tell you the warranty duration. So next, I went to the Aftershock office slash manufacturer site slash Assembly side, I'm not gonna get caught up with the terms, but I actually learned a lot about their company. I learned that their customization doesn't stop at hardware. They do aesthetics as well. Custom cable braiding, LED lights, open water cooling, and case design. When I say case design, it's like a whole thing on its own. They have Ferrari red paint, that's right. They have paint that they put on a million dollar cars on your PC. No joke. 
They also have this printing device which can precisely print anything on your case. And they don't stop with PC, you know. They do laptop also, you know. You can customize your hardware for laptop and the aesthetics of the laptop. I never heard that before. I actually interviewed the founder of Aftershock. If you want to watch that, it's on Facebook, so you can click somewhere, somewhere. Link in the description, somewhere. So how is a PC built in Aftershock? It's very simple, it's a three-step process. One is the assembly line, two is the testing and um, stressing the computer, and third is the packaging and delivery. Why I'm saying that is because I realize that a lot of them are young adults, people like you and me, you know, play games. And one thing is that you can just go to the showroom, you can talk to one of the Aftershock guys, and you can just say, I want to play PUBG and they will just recommend a PC for your needs. So on to the price. The next complication pops up. Aftershock stopped using KB Lake processor for the Coffee Lake processor. So the price is not gonna be so accurate. So trying to be as accurate as possible, the price we got was $1,369. That is $19 more expensive than DIY, which is pretty amazing. What about a more expensive build? Another complication is that Aftershock don't do 1080 SLI. And for good reason, because there's no point to get two 1080s. It costs more than one 1080 Ti and is less efficient. The end price is about 3,300. We, we can just add the price of one more 1080 into that 3,300 and it costs, rough estimate, 3,999 with three years on-site warranty. That's $599 less than the pre-built and $594 more than doing it yourself. So that was a problem and ending, it became like really dark, so I gotta do it again. So in conclusion, which is the best way to buy a PC? It really depends. If you just want to play games and not worry about technical side, then Aftershock is definitely your choice. It might be a bit more expensive, but their service is worth it. But if you're interested in the technical side, then you can try PC building. The cost is lower, but you have to really do your research. Because when I was younger, I bought wrong parts, I handled hardware very poorly, and ended up costing a lot more than it was supposed to. Other than that, I cannot think of a reason to buy pre-built. Maybe if it's convenient and you're near a department store, that's the only way I can see people buying it. And I guess that's why if you go to an electronic department store, you can't really find desktop PCs because it's not really selling well. They only sell things like laptops, which Aftershock also sells at a cheaper price. I can't think of a reason, but if you do, do comment in the comment section below if you have any questions or any opposite opinions, do comment in the comment section below. And like this video if you like this PC content, and other than that, do click here for more and click here to subscribe. Bye.